we can just go there too. I've had enough technical difficulties today to make sure I'm there. Am I there? Yes. Or my whole body? Yeah. And the food? And the food? Can you see the pan? I can see the bottom of that glass. Can you see this though? Yes. But can you see it when it's on here? Yes. Cool, that's all I need to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right. Alright everybody, I'm here. Finally! Okay, I had technical problems, I've had ingredients problems, I've had my, I my iPhone charger broke, like everything just kind of fell apart. And I can tell you that I've been trying to sort this out since 3 o'clock. Right, so let's start. Right, so I'm making arancini, and I'm making um, this, so this live, and for the next few, few weeks, is going to be for the Nottingham Hospital, Nottingham University Hospital Charity. So last week, last time I did it for the Laura High Foundation, and and uh, this one we're going to do for local the local hospital. So um, I'm going to drop the link somewhere, whether it's live or on YouTube or on my page, but you'll find the link. Don't worry, it'll be there. Um, right. So the other part, the other thing that happened was a lot of people couldn't find the Aboria rice. And I went to, I went to about three or four shops and I couldn't find it. And in the end, I had to get it from Amazon. So this is the rice that we're going to use. If you're cooking with me live or you were going to cook with me live and you're waiting or whatever, um, this is the best rice to use. So it's worth the wait to go and get the rice. Don't use long grain. Don't use um, like you know the the other ones, the Japanese rice and all that jasmine. It won't it won't be the same. Um, so you need to get this aborio rice. I got if you can't find it in the shop, they do have it on Amazon, but you have to buy three bags. So I've got three three kilos of rice, um, and I think it was about three. When you buy the three all together, it's about ten pounds. So just over three pounds a bag. Now arancini. Arancini um, starts off with risotto. So you need to make the risotto first and then we're going to put it to cool and then I'm going to show you how to make the balls out of it. Um, you can put stuffings in there. Um, some people put uh, mozzarella, uh, some people put, I think um, Vicky's dad puts, he said he's going to put bolognese in there. Um, you can put things like, uh, so what I'm going to try to do is put some prawns in there or shrimp for those who are across the, across the pond. So I'm going to put prawns slash shrimp in mine and um, yeah it's very easy to make and um, it just takes a little bit of time but it's worth the wait so here we go right my pan is nice and hot I hope I'm just going to turn it up just a little bit just in case so I'm going to put in my actually I'm going to put the oil in first because if you put butter straight in it'll start to burn so I'm just going to put some oil in the full recipe is online so I'm just going to wing this one because I've made it so many times so I'll get, you can go online and you'll see the full recipe. So I'm going to put some oil, some butter, get that going. So that's going in. This time I'm not using any music because I'm tired of um, Facebook taking off all my words and it means I have to go back and redo the video and do a voiceover or just not be able to show um, my heart and soul into what I did before because it's not the same when you have to try and make it up again. So I'm not going to have the background music this time. So I'm going to let that get nice and warm and then in the meantime the other things you need are onion or onions and garlic. Now I didn't have any um, uh, the white onions. I only have red onions and obviously if you put the red onions in because the risotto is white it's going to come through. So I'm going to use spring onions this time because so I still have a few left from the shopping. Um, I, I bought loads of red onions because I was going to make a French onion soup, but I never have, I haven't gotten around to do it yet. So, right, so that's nice and warm. We're going to add the risotto. Actually, no, we're not. Sorry, let me go backwards. Slow down. See, that's the thing. It's been such a long day. But we're not adding the risotto yet. We're going to add the chopped, the chopped um, onions and the fresh garlic. Garlic in there, that's much better. See, now I'm back. I'm back. 
I'm sorry, I'm back now. Now, the right order was to put the onions and the garlic in. So I put that in. And as I said, you do a mix of the butter and the olive oil because if you just put butter straight into the pan, it will turn brown too quickly. So I do that and make it opaque. Okay, and now you add the risotto in. Okay, so. So get that stir. And you just do this until the risotto rice has, um, it starts to look a bit clear on the outside. If you look at your rice grain, um, the middle bit would be, will still be white, but the outside gets opaque, like a clear. So when it gets to that point, that's when you can start adding the liquids. Um, I don't think there's a specific um, wine. Some people don't actually use wine in their, in their um, risotto. I, I like to add wine, but if you're going to use one, make sure you use a dry one because um, you don't want it to be sweet. Anyway, so this is going. We're getting that color in. I don't want to do it too early because the thing is you need that starch. I'm going to do the wine first. So I'm going to put your wine in. Just add it through. I'll do about half of, half of whatever, um, did I put down? Half, half of the amount that you have in there, put it in first so that it can take in the flavors. That one's gone, that's pretty so I'm just going to add the rest and do it again. Actually no, I'm going to add half of this again because there's a reason why is I also like the flavor of the wine when it's in there and I save a little bit at the end just in case I need to tweak it a little bit. So I've got the wine in there. You see, I don't, you won't be able to see it, but when you're cooking it, you'll see it starts to turn. It's starting to get creamy. Cool. Right. That's nice and creamy again. Now we're going to start adding your stock a little bit at a time. I've got my chicken stock. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to pour some in there. Okay, and when, what we do is just wait for that to reduce again. When you are um, cooking it, you'll see it starts to get quite uh, like a milky color, so you know it's doing well. Right, so where are we now? That's gone in again. You can see, let's see if we take one. So you know, it, I said it started off where the end, the middle was... Um, white and the the outside was clear so now as it's cooking it's starting to fill up with the stock so it's starting to get that white color and it'll start to get softer so I'll do that keep doing that it's only been about 15 minutes so it doesn't really take that long to make this it's just it's just waiting for the stock to go in keep doing it right so I'm gonna add another Turn it up again because this is my funny stove. So for the last couple of days, I've been working on um, another video. The I made a, I made the crab salad. I was I've joined I've joined the group called Cookpad, and it's like a an app where you upload your recipes. And my thing was to make a crab salad the crab and apple salad and I got that from Gordon Ramsay. I made it like years and years ago and I was like, oh, I woke up one morning and I was like, oh, do you know what? I really want to have that. So um, I've done a video of that one. So that's going to be um, on YouTube. So go find it and watch it, please, because it makes me happy when you guys support me. I'm going to add some more. So that's going down. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, because it's Kind of, it didn't really dissolve very well my stock, so I'm going to add the rest of this wine to it. Let me taste. 
this is um, puffed up since we started so the rice is absorbing the liquid very well All right so we're almost there now this is where you judge the, you will get to a point when you're making um, a, a risotto where you judge whether or not you need that last bit or maybe a bit more than you than stock I mean don't you don't have to use stock you don't have to use wine you can just use water you can use um, so you can use stock on its own or you can use a combination of wine and stock you can use stock on its own and then top it up with water as I said I like it with the wine I've always made it with wine I don't even know what where where or who I don't know how I started the wine but um, other things that you can put in uh, risotto, and if you want to make like arancini, but like so if you're not making arancini and you're just making risotto, you can put uh, mushrooms, porcini mushrooms, oh, bellissima. Um, you can put just like peas. Um, uh, what else can you put? You can put all sorts really. Um, I don't think there's any limitation to what you put in. So you know, what you put into your risotto nowadays. Right, that's looking good. I'm just going to test it again. Almost there. It just needs a little bit more, I think. So I'm going to pour the rest of my stock wine combination. I'm going to mix because it's all settled at the bottom. Alright, so the last bit. So after this, it should be right. This is, I've had this Pyrex since I think Vicky. So Vicky's gonna be 21 next week. So I've had that Pyrex for that long, and all the red, all the red stuff is gone, which is why, like, when I use my um, my new thingy um, scale, and that, if you haven't seen the video, but on my video I was so excited because you can do mills. You can do bills. I love it. So I can I don't need to know what the, the words say anymore. I can just put it on there, pour it in and don't tell me how many mills I have. So I love this. And if you go on my YouTube and the blog, it's called a Doric. A Doric Alive um Pronto Kitchen Scale. So you can see my um oh that's the Amazon man. I I got like a not a GoPro. I call it a ProGo. I got a ProGo um, GoPro type style camera to use, so you guys can get like. So I'm gonna have it on my head like that, and then you'll be able to see down as I'm cooking. Because I'm just so into this filming things now. I'm loving it. Sorry. So one, make sure you've got some kind of liquid. Not as much as this. Make sure you've got some kind of liquid. Two, when you take the bite of your rice, it should be just, I want to say chewy. So imagine biting into fudge. Um, so that kind of soft but hard texture of fudge, that's what it should be. That's, I, that's how I describe the texture. When you're at that stage, you are done. Um, just taste it and then you put some salt and pepper in it. Um, my one doesn't need salt, but it needs pepper, and the pepper is so lovely. If you can get like pink peppercorns, or um, like this, like the normal black peppercorns, that just brings out the flavor. It's so love, it's so lovely. So um, sometimes it's not salt that you need. Sometimes it is just the pepper. 
When you're having risotto, some people have it like this. It is creamy. Okay? It's creamy. You can have it at, at this texture, this amount of liquid. This is good. But because we're making arancini, I'm just going to reduce it just a little bit more. Um, another good, another good thing to, uh, or a good thing to add for arancini would be some double cream. But I don't have any double cream today. That is, that is to me is good. I'm going to add my black pepper. In there, give it a nice mix. White pepper is really good as well if you try using white pepper. Okay, all right, so that's nice, it looks good, it's silky. I'm gonna turn that down so I do not want to ruin that texture. All right, so that is the kind of texture you want, it's shiny, it's um. It's rice pudding -y, but without like but more rice to pudding, okay? But it's the fact is it's nice and silky. It's got the flavor. I've added some more um thingy to it. Use a different fork. Yeah. Mmm. Wow, I'm so hungry. Right. So that's done. So that was about 25 minutes. To do 250 grams. I'm not putting any salt in there. I think it's salty enough with my stock. I think I, I think I had quite a salty stock. Right. So the next thing you want to do is add your cheeses. I've got my uh, my. You know when I made the spaghetti carbonara, I had my pecorino, so I'm gonna put the pecorino in there. You can use pecorino. You can use parmesan. Um, you can use mozzarella. Um, I think one time I saw somebody. Um, online, they did like a double cream and mozzarella thing to make it. This is when they were having it like as a as a dish. So mozzarella, double cream, um, some of this cheese on top, and then um, like the the shavings, truffle truffle shavings. That yeah, you know, when everything goes back to normal and I'm and I'm like burning again, I'm, I'm gonna have to invest in some truffle because I really want to try. What, I want to try. I've had it infused, but I want to try and make it myself. But I think you need, uh, I heard it's very expensive stuff. You need like a mortgage, so I won't sell a child. I might just sell, I don't know. What should I sell? I might sell my car. I'll sell my car for it. All right. So I'm going to add the cheese now. Put it in there. So I've turned off my heat because I'm all done. Now I'm going to add the cheese. Just give it a nice turn. Right, so this is done now, but the thing is for arancini, it needs to be cool. It's too hot to make anything out of right now. But if you're gonna just eat this on its own, you are ready to go. You spoon it into a bowl, and that is your tea, as they say in Nottingham, tea done. If you're down south, London like me, your dinner done. Right, so that's, that's it there. And it's very, it's got silkiness, it's got cheesiness, I like mine with bite, it still has the bite. So that is your risotto done. So if you're coming with me, um, in about an hour, I'm going to finish um, the rest of it. Take your pan off the heat, put your risotto into a plate. Put your risotto on the side, somewhere where it's cool. Let, let, the, um, let the rice cool down. That's what you're going to need for the next stage to this. If you're not making arancini and you're just having the risotto, go ahead, serve it immediately, enjoy. It's really lovely like that. You can add some parsley to it just to raise the flavor a little bit. Um, but yeah, you, you're ready to go if you just do a risotto. If you're not, you're doing arancini, like you know, because it's live and I didn't, I haven't made one earlier. I should have done. I should have made one earlier. You know, next time I'm gonna make one earlier, but um, I haven't done that. So I'm gonna put this on the side as well. Let it cool down, and in about an hour, I'm gonna be back. We're gonna. So another thing you, you should you should do, which I didn't have time to do because I've run out of time, is realistically you should, we're gonna, we'll do it this way, but you should put the um, balls in the fridge um, after you do the wash and stuff, but we don't have time today, so we're gonna do it this way. We're just gonna hope that it all stays together. So we've got a ball, but if you were doing the ingredient inside, I'll show you on the next one. So what we're gonna do is just gonna put that in our egg wash, Yes, I'm using egg whites because um, 
uh, it just kind of makes it stay together nicely and you don't have the flavor of the yolk. So we're gonna rub the bowl in there. Now we're just gonna hope that this stays together. Put this put some test to make sure that my oil is hot, so it's quite hot to so turn it up a little bit. So we've got we've put the egg, so we've got a bowl, egg wash, white, um, egg white and then um, flour. So we're gonna put that in there like so. Now if you're gonna do this traditionally, the right way, without being rushed because you're an hour late, you're gonna do what I the first part of the um, the live was making the risotto, wait for it to cool down a bit, make a ball, do all what I'm doing now and let it sit. Now I don't have time to do that today, so it will still be it will still be fine, but the best way for you to do it is that way. And if you definitely if you're gonna be using um, inside and stuff for the inside it's a nice it's nicer for you to just put the uh, the ingredient inside that you're going to use and then let it sit. I'm going to put wash put it in our breadcrumbs and yeah so if you can get the focaccia bread with the um, rosemary that's really nice it just adds like a little bit of um, it has that like salt salt and rosemary content is really nice so um, you should get some of that if you can. If not, uh, as we are on lockdown, today I have com I've improvised. I've done tiger bloom, tiger bloomer. So you know like tiger bread, but it's like a bloomer. So I've used that. And then I've used one um, slice of white bread and I've used one slice of wholemeal bread um, because I needed breadcrumbs. And I also don't want to use too much because the kids like sandwiches. So I've had to kind of compromise. So roll. Oh, I didn't show you. So if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do something in it, do a roll like that. Put your ingredient inside. So put it inside there, and then you take more of it and you just mold it together. So you can make like a nicer, nice big bowl. Turn it up a bit more. Nice big bowl, and then everything will stay inside. And as I said, you put it in the wash, the bread, and let it sit for some time so that. Because people sometimes they make um, arancini the day before and then they fry it um, when they need it. So that's three bowls in there. Let me turn it up a little bit more. I don't want to put too many into the pan so that the oil doesn't the oil gets too um, cold. This why am I cooking? A few reasons. One, definitely to raise money for charity. I did it uh, last week or like so the last two weeks. I've done it for my sisters uh, because she's a nurse and I wanted to fund a charity that dealt with mental health uh, for nurses and that was the Laura Hyde Foundation. So. Um, I raised the £100 target, which I was so glad about, so thank you for everybody who donated to that. Um, and then this time it's a Nottingham University um, hospital charity. Uh, reason is because when I moved to Nottingham, I was very ill. Well, I was very ill anyway, but when I moved here, I was super ill. And um, they managed to get me back on my feet in about, I think I was here for about eight eight months, nine months. Like, but basically by the, by the time it was about eight or nine months that I've moved here, they gave me the surgery I needed, they got me in all the right pills I needed, they've got me the you know therapist and everything that I need, that it took a long time when I was living somewhere else for it to happen, so I'm t totally grateful to Nottingham um, uh, University Hospitals for you know doing that for me. And now, Yes, it's not about my illnesses at the moment, now it's about um, COVID-19. So, you know, what they're doing, they need the help, they need, you need, they need recognition for the, the, what they do. And um, my cooking is, you know, putting myself in front of everybody, um, making these foods that I love, playing, messing about with uh, technology, looking like, you know, some people will say, I look like a fool, but whatever, you know, I'm doing it. I'm sure that you all can make your own foods and things, but this is what I can do. It, it's, let's say it this way, this time last year, I didn't think I'll be able to be doing anything. Just before my surgery, there was a 50-50 chance. So I'm here, whoa, 
Um, so I'm going to do what I can, and I love cooking, and I love social media, and I love my sister, and I love health, and so why not? Why not do the things that I love? I do love photography as well, but you know, this is more interaction. This, I can deal with more people this way, and, I'm, and I love it. So that's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to put the link in for the Just Giving um, site. You can, I, my target again is £100, so hopefully we can get there. And also, um, I'm going to keep it up for two weeks as I did for the Laura Hyde. And from t like, so from tomorrow, I'm going to pick different things. I might do it on Instagram Live. I might finally get that YouTube streaming working. If not, then back on Facebook Live. But I am just going to make sure that I just keep cooking as much as I can in front of the camera to make sure that I can raise money there. I'm just going to turn it around that way. You can see they're kind of getting nice and golden. You just want to get it to a nice golden crisp color. If you have your cheeses inside, it will start to melt, like you know, like mozzarella sticks. It'll be um, melting inside. You can put some um, tomato sauce, so uh, like spaghetti sauce kind of thing. You can have it with that. Um, you can have it on its own, but whichever way you, whichever way you fancy. It's just once you make it, you can make loads of them as well and keep them in the fridge. And then you can you can reheat them in the oven when you're ready to use them again. It doesn't take any time at all once the things are cooled and then you put them to room temperature, then you're fine. So I'm going to leave you now because I know y'all are bored of me talking. Thank you for watching and have a lovely Sunday and I will show you the end result a bit later. Okay.